Hello everyone, Gina is one here and I have a new game to play, it's called Firewatch, uh, recommended to me by my fiance Tom, uh, which he's already played. So let's go with a new game, uh, that's his game there, just so you know. Uh, slot 2. Um, I've only watched like the end part of this, so yeah I do know where it's going but I don't know anything about the beginning. Apart from what Tom's told me. Sounds like we're in a bar. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay. You see Julia. That's, I think, our future wife. <laughs> oh, okay, I have to press a button. <laughs> She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her, okay? You are drunk. Alright, so I get to choose. You, you're pretty, or so, what's your, you know, major? I'm gonna go with major because I want to make it seem like, you know, I'm interested in her, I'm not, you know, her actual, just, oh, you look pretty. I want to make it look, sound like I'm interested in her. You slur the word major and it smells like claws. You give an awkward smile. <laughs> Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? That's pretty funny. Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Junior's boyfriend. Ain't that cute? Okay. Oh, okay, we're in a lift. Alright. Pick up my backpack. Is Julia here? Alright. Okay, so we're in a... I was about to say parking lot, and I'm like, I'm not American, it's a car park. Alright, I'm hoping this is my car. It'd be really awkward if it wasn't my car. Alright. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Alright. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. So I can choose between Bucket the Beagle or Mayhem the Shepherd. The German Shepherd. I'm gonna go with the German Shepherd. Because I want to make sure she's safe, you know. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too break to bring, big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Oh, Mayhem. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 1930? 1930? That's, that's half seven. <laughs> At half nine p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart, but good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. That would be pretty good, or oh, one day, why rush? Why rush? Like, what's the point? She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak to yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. Wow. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, Monday. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. That's adorable. Let's be real. That's how I got engaged, <laughs> but it was more of a Friday night than a Sunday morning. Right, I assume... What's this? Alright. Well, I assume that's the way I came, and this is the way I have to go. What's this? It looks like a cigarette. Thing. All right. Ooh, 
butterfly. And it's pretty. Oh, well, no, it's fame. Bye. 1918. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you worried and get angry about a minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. So you get mad and you ignore her. Oh god, now I feel like an awful person. I'm gonna get mad. I'm like, I'm an emotional guy. Oh my god. <laughs> you call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. Alright, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her razor. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You probably think looks like he man or you feel like, like a Victoria's Secret model. Oh, I'm totally like, yeah, let's, let's pose some plants. I look awesome. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, look at that orange. Is that sunrise or sunset? I'm guessing sunset. This orange seems more like a sunset colour. Alright. Branches. That I can just walk through, apparently. What's this? Two forks. Look out that like eight miles. Alright. Okay, hop over. Ow. <laughs> okay, that's slow for a during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town that brings the folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May me move fuck the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she straps so you confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his goddamn face in. Let's beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Awkward. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Alright. Julia gets off the job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh my god. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. Like, I feel like that would be a stress, but I want her to be happy. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that uh, that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Julia had sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it, or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget. Mm -mm. I am talking for my wife. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She was 41. You both decide to keep it secret for now. That's very sad. Ooh, a gem. Hello. Let's have a... Uh, <laughs> Yee, man. Oh, that's cute that we've seen that. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver, ha silver hair down his back and slow down, slows down at night. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Shouldn't it be, you know, bad to keep it from your employers? Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child, children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. 
For a while, your friends come by with little things to break, brighten the day. She gets worse. This is really sad. It's like the first time it's up. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care at home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility or you're determined to take care of her by yourself. I. Okay, this guy is gonna move her into a full time care facility. Because, you know, I think. I don't know, I just feel like that's the thing he would do. Okay, so I'm looking at the sky and the ground. Hey, I actually have a body in this. That's nice. Like in a lot of first person games, you look down and you don't have legs. And it's just like, where are my feet? Alright, so I'm walking around. This place is really nice. Oh gosh, I'm really watching to a tree. Alright. Oh, why am I so slow? Hey, look, a deer? An elk? <sighs> wow. That was so over the top. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move for that. You see it every day. Then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Well, yeah, if they're saying that kind of stuff about you, then they can't really be your friends. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you want to see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. I thought this was in a weird, creepy way. Months go by. Mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. What? No! Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Okay. Okay, so that is the backstory. It's certainly an interesting way to go about it. All right. So, a lookout tower. There is floating flowers that are really out of place. <laughs> that's weird. I don't know if that's a common problem or if it's just the graphics on Tom's computer being weird. Do do do. Up the stairs we go. Can we run? Oh gosh. Wow. <laughs> I pressed the left bumper and zoomed in. I'm used to that being sprinting from, I think, Fallout 4 and Skyrim, I think, which I've been playing recently. Alright. Turn on the power. Boom. Done. God, this place is ugly. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello. I need to pick up the pine cone instead. Hello. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Alright. How do I do this? Oh, okay. Um, hello? Right. This is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Alright, so hold it down. Okay, okay. Um, you're right. probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. <laughs> you come out here and it really grinds your gears and you love it. Can I sleep Wow. Now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. 
I don't know anything about you. This guy's a I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. You know what? I'm gonna job. run with that story. I am truly gonna run with that story that I got fired from my job and I am here to write mine at all. Definitely. Because um, when Tom played this, he was really. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess yeah. good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, when Tom played this, he was kind of super open with what's her face um, about everything. So I'm going to be super close because I want to see how that changes everything. I'm holding it. I said I'm holding it. Okay. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess oh, it's what, 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. Right. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? <laughs> you use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, okay, hello. Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. <laughs> you need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. <laughs> Can I write them Do a ticket? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. Wow. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut <laughs> up. Alright, so. We're on our way for our first mission. Here is our map. I can't read it, there we go. So that's where I am. And 3SX is to my left, I guess. I don't know. Alright, well I have to head west. So I guess it's this way. Jersey Lake. Alright, well, I'm definitely heading west. Let's have another quick look at the map. Alright, I'm definitely heading on the right path, so... Alright, let's just get to it. So... I feel like this is the kind of awkward bit with LPs, when there's nothing really going on, you're just walking about, and, like, yeah, it's pretty, but there's nothing to talk about. What's this? Thoroughfair, look out. It's Delilah. I thought it was Delia. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> it's but, like... LP is, how do they do this? Like, I'm still pretty new to to being an LP. I, I haven't done it that much. But I feel like sometimes there's nothing to talk about, and how do you just keep doing that? You know? Alright, what way am I going? Ah, here we go. 306. Okay, so we have found this. Alright. One, two, three, four. Okay. That was super easy. Let's copy the information off this map, because I don't know what any of this means. Um, there's a note. Hello. Run, hey man. Couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout. Put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hike into the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back. There's a lot of swearing in this game. Good 
Do people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. Oh, oh, You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. Oh, I'll track down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Okay, what else is here? I'm taking this. Oh, I can't keep it? Boo. Hey, there's a snack in here. <laughs> hey, Probably not. gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. I mean, whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. I ate it. <laughs> right. Okay. Now where are we going? I know it was west, so. Right. There we go. <laughs> Wasn't sure how to deal with it. All these trails will seem to lead west. So, I guess I just had this, alright, god, some of these paths aren't clear at all. Right, here we go. Like, I'm pretty sure it was, it was, it was west in general. I think I'm getting closer. Like, I can hear the whoosh. Oh, that's how you jog. Alright, so you press X to toggle jogging. I feel like I'm going to be using jogging a lot more. Alright, I don't want the map. I want my compass. Okay, I'm headed the right way. That's fine. Alright, so let's jog. Hey, let's go over this. Huh. Yeah! Still jogging. Right, there it is. Okay. Right, attach rope to hook. Ugh, this place is. Uh, this shale slide is steep. Look How do this. you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Ha! Huh, let's go this way. What about one. shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's actually English for not in my job description. I just want to be really sarcastic to her, like, all the time. Alright, let's go. Alright. Away I go! Oh jeez. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> oh gosh, that actually made me jump. Um, this isn't even- I don't know if this is even meant to be a scary game. It just, I am a wimp, so let's talk about this. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. <laughs> First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Be careful for Christ's sake. Right, where am I going? Forward, I guess. <coughs> hey, what's this? No. Alright. I don't know where to go. This way? I don't know where the fireworks are anymore. Am I even headed the right way? No. I know it was west, but I don't know anything else about that. Alright. Um. It's kind of embarrassing if you get lost in, in a game like this. I think I'm lost. <laughs> um. Let's try this way, I guess. Alright, let's, let's jog because this is way too slow for my liking. Alright. <laughs> totally not promising. I have no idea where I'm going. But I guess we could try this way. Alright. Ah! Aha! Let's stop this out. This 
to some guys. I should probably follow this. Well, I put out their fire. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. Who gave them Just found where they're hanging out. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Clean this list. All this up. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. Anything else that I can pick up here? Now that I know I'm in the right place. Hey, look. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. <laughs> we just took some of the stuff. Oh god. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oh my god, is that a bra? That is a bra. And I can hear music. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> what? I just took it? I didn't even have a choice in that. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? Okay, I dropped I don't that one. I not say that word again. Why, because you're 12? At least I dropped the panties. What's this? There's a... Uh... Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? <laughs> Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Wow. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Oh, God. Okay. Well, here we go. Found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> Boy, enjoy dealing with that. Thanks, Delilah. Okay, let's let's do this. Full stereo. Oh, hey, what's that count? Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy. It's a sizzler buffet. But Chelsea, what? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. I'm trying to be polite here. Peeping Tom. I said sorry. Oh my God, is that what you are? Actually, my name's Henry, not Tom. You're gross. You're gross. You're sad man out in the woods. Ugh. Where are you even going? Alright, let's, let's get... Can I, like, turn this off at least? Alright, how am I supposed to get back? Hey, that go okay? Oh my gosh, I'm busy. It went... Fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Okay. Good. Thanks for going down there. You're welcome. Okay, let's try and figure out a way back. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love how it's actually written. Okay. Hmm. How do I get back? That seems to be the only way. Maybe if I try going up from the canyon, like go to that river and follow it. Alright, let's let's try that. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like I said, Tom may have played it already. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as 
hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. It's starting to feel like it. Okay, so it's all snow water. Alright. Okay, I have found the river. Let's see if I can get anywhere from here. Also, walking is so slow in every game. It's so bad and I hate it. See, okay, he walks normally over this log. Alright. 